You got everything ready? I do not want another Port Royal incident. Are you sure you don't want to double check the boxes again? To see there's actually food? And not hundreds of miniature violins again. Alright then. It's your grave anyways if you're wrong for a third time. Let's just make sure everyone's here. Drake, Morgan, Teach, Kit, O'Malley, Bonnie, Bruce, Roberts, Gibbs, and... Where is Roberto? Morgan! Have you seen Roberto today? He knows we leave port today, right? Uh, of course he is. No, we're leaving. I'm not waiting for him to finish with his hooker of choice once again. He knew what time we left port. And he's nowhere to be seen. Is everything ready? Good. Then we leave. Oh, it's it warm today. I think I made O'Malley pick up some extra boxes of rum while we were at St. Mary's. <laughs> oh, you're not my rum, and you're not supposed to be on a pirate ship either. Trust me, he says. I made sure all the boxes are white this time. I swear, I'm going to kill that O'Malley. Not what you expected, eh? Hoping to hop on some merchant ship? Or perhaps a fishing boat? <laughs> Kid, I have no idea what you were hoping for. But my ship ain't returning to a port for another few months and by then we'll be halfway to Singapore. Get back here, you! What were you thinking? It was several miles from shore by now. We are going to swim back to St. Mary's Island. I can promise you, you're not that good of a swimmer. Who are you anyway, kid? And why are you hiding in a box of rum? You're the offspring of who? Okay, we need to get you back home right now. I'm not having the entire East Indian fleet hunting me down, thinking I've kidnapped the Commodore's kid. Please. You've grown up in utter luxury. Why would someone like you possibly want to run away from a home if they aren't an ungrateful little brat? Your father did what to you? Let me see. I'm not going to hurt you. Believe it or not, but most pirates aren't barbarians. Is it alright if I come a bit closer? It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Mostly just looks like bruises. Some smaller cuts. May I lift up your shirt? You have something under there as well and I can't properly see it. Okay. I won't come any closer. I'll just... Um, sit down here for a bit. Tell me, kid. After you ran away from your father and found a ship, had it been a merchant ship, then what? What was your goal with all of this? England. Why would anyone want to visit perhaps the rainiest country on the planet? 
don't believe the stories you've heard. For one, it smells like shit in London. Literally. A big, overcrowded town where everyone puts their waste in the river or just throws it out on the street. I get nauseous just from thinking about it. I know, because I was born there. Left at the first chance I got. Don't look at me like that. Back then I was a bit more honourable than I am nowadays. I joined the fleet. Actually hoping to rid the world of pirates. How times have changed. I fell in love. I fell in love with someone who I wasn't allowed to. Does it hurt? Your side, I mean. You keep making faces and holding on to your side. I'm sorry. I don't have anything to take the edge off, kid. You are a bit too young to start drinking, don't you think? Exactly. But you do look like you might need some food and water in you. I can go and get some. It's just the other. Okay. I won't go anywhere, of course. Come here, kid. <sighs> Somehow I didn't expect you to be so... Tiny. How old did you say you were anyways? You're eight? And your dad did that to his eight-year-old kid? Look at me. I will never let him come anywhere near you ever again. If that is your wish, you may stay here. Won't be easy, though. I'll have to work just as hard as my other men. Nah, don't worry about the fleet. I've had them after me before. Don't think it'll be too much trouble to shake them off this time either. <laughs> right. Back when I left to be a pirate, in order to be with my lover. You'll meet her in Singapore. She's helped me with some of the preparations. Oh, in due time you'll find out. Not quite yet. Roberts, I thought I had told you to keep watch. We're exiting St. Mary's. There are bound to be shipped from the East Indian fleet everywhere. They know about this place and they know who goes here. Oh my! The commander's kid? And they believe a pirate. I kidnap them? The commander really don't know my style. This... Um, uh, this is my niece. They were the reason we pulled into St. Mary's in the first place. Her parents pass away and I made a promise to my brother not to let anything happen to them. So, they will be staying with us for the foreseeable future. While you're down here, give them a meal. You haven't eaten anything in God knows how long. Good thing my men aren't too bright. I don't have a brother, nor do I have a niece. Welcome to the ship, kid. <laughs>